In partnership with Healthy Kids, we're going to show you today all of the excellent items in your Let's Get Moving kit. Inside your kit, you will find a piece of paper like this with all sorts of things that you can do per season, laminated and keep it somewhere handy, maybe on your fridge or somewhere nearby where you could go to it as a great resource. You will also find a little pamphlet with a whole bunch of ideas and every single season of what you can do outside that's inside your kit. And also this beautiful paper here with lots of extras, extra goodies. Join us while we show you some of the activities. Two of the items you'll find in your kit are a large pool noodle and a beach ball. What we want you to do with these items is play pool noodle baseball or pool noodle hockey. What you need to do is take your large pool noodle and on a solid surface with a sharp kitchen knife, just cut it in half so that you end up with two shorter pieces that you can then use as a baseball. So what you want to do is toss the baseball to your child and have them hit it with their pool noodle bat. Another activity you can do is play pool noodle hockey. So what you want to do is you can each have a hockey stick and play hockey and pass the puck back and forth to each other with your pool noodle. If you'd like to practice your soccer skills, in your kit you're going to find a package of red solo cups. So lay these out on your lawn or in your basement wherever you have space as pylons. So you're going to space them out and then have your child kick the beach ball through the pylons and practice their kicking skills. Red solo cups are really great. You can play water games with them, water fights. You can fill them up in winter, pack them with snow to make a mold and build a castle. And also in the summer with sand, fill them with sand and build some creations of your own at home. Hi guys. So here with your ball that you're receiving in your kit, a few other ideas is to encourage your little one to crawl. You can roll your ball away from your little one to encourage them to want to crawl near it. You can use your um, the basket that you also are going to receive by just using it as a target practice, trying to get the ball in the basket. It really helps with hand-eye coordination. Um, also, you have some balloons. You can fill this up with water and have a water balloon toss. You can fill up all of these balloons, put them in your basket, take them out to where you want to go and toss them around. You can have fun with that. We have some balloon or some bubbles and you can just have so much fun with bubbles in lots of different seasons. You also have a spray bottle in your kit. You can use some washable paint with water and take the art outside, take your paper outside and spray paint the paper, maybe spray paint the sidewalk and wash off in the rain or if you really want it to wash off faster, fill the water in your bucket and dump it and it'll wash it right off. You can also just fill this up with just water if you wanted to cool yourself down in the hot summer days. So come on outside with us and we'll show you a few more ways and how you can use the items in your kit. Hi everyone, now that we're outside, I'm going to show you what you could do with your chalk. One of the ways that you can use your chalk is you can make an obstacle course. So you can draw anything that you would like. We have an example here. Let's try it out and see how it works. So I'm going to follow the squiggly line. I'm going to hop like a frog. I'm going to balance on the straight line. I'm going to hop on one foot. I'm going to spin and then stop. I'm here to show you some of the games you can play with the hula hoop that's in your package. So what I've done is use the red solo cups on the ground and I've balanced my hula hoop on top. This is so we can play a game called rabbit hop. What you want to do is tell the kids that they are rabbits and there's a fox chasing them. So they all want to hop inside their hula hoop. 
if you have one child, you're going to hop, hop in, hop out, or jump with two feet in the hoop. Get your whole family to play and see how many people you can get inside the hula hoop without knocking it over. The next thing you can do with your hula hoop, if you have a tree in your yard, is attach a nice secure piece of rope to a branch and you're going to ask the kids to climb through the hula hoop that way, in and out. The last thing you can do is use your hula hoop as a lasso. So also with the rope, tie it to one end and you want to swing it around and try to catch some balls that you've laid out in your yard and see if you can pull them into yourself. Those are our hula hoop games. Thank you so much for participating in Healthy Kids and the Let's Get Moving Activity Kit. Goodbye everybody!